Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. I am George Onibi, of course, addressing issues of what most important as it affects our people. This morning, I want to talk about the topic I simply titled Debunking the Lies of the Ibu Biafra Biafra people who said that Ezechime is an Igbo man. But before we go in depth in this very discussion, let me appeal to the conscience of our people to apply their heart to reasoning, to make use of their brain. It's simple logic. It is simple truth. If you are from Anyoma, if you are from Ikwiri, and you are from the South-South region in Nigeria, it is hard time you sit back and begin to ask yourself certain pertinent questions. Why is it that all of a sudden, after over a hundred years, some group of charlatans has flooded the social media? The championing a simple cause to claim that Ikwiri is Igbo. Anyocha is Igbo, Osimili is Igbo, Ndokwa is Igbo, Eka is Igbo. You will begin to find out that something is out of place. I should say, out of order. It's not actually necessary. Because whether the query people are successful or not, they have moved on. Whether the Eka people, the Anyoma people, are successful or not, they have moved on. And of course, whether the Igbo people are successful or not, they have moved on. The Igbo were satisfied with themselves. They run their things through Ohanese in the Igbo. They manage the affair through World Igbo Congress. And they dish out the propaganda and disinformation through the World Igbo Congress. This three APES group, among others, are playing vital role in trying to protect the Igbo nation. And we respect them. We have never challenged them. We have never called them to order. We have never queried the activities in our land, even when we know obviously that it is to the detriment of our people. And it's applicable to the query people. And nobody has worried about it. We have never said we are Igbo, nor have we denied that we are not Igbo. And based on the consent of the idea of one Nigeria, somewhere along the line, we oblige. And so there can be peace. Ask yourself, why has it become the order of the day? that certain individuals are pouring billions into the project to assimilate you. What is it for them to gain? And what is it that you will lose if finally you fall for them? And I'm sure your mindset will begin to change if you are able to carry yourself along this line of thought. Let me also advise you that by the time you begin to confront people who tell you that your history is written and documented, you cannot trust them. Our histories are not written. Our histories are not documented by anybody. Because in the events of our emergence as a people, as an ethnic group, there were nothing like Google, nor Cyclopedia, nor Wikipedia. There was nothing... But we were there. Our histories were written in rocks. And that is why, in the end, they will last beyond the pyramids of Egypt. And from generation to generation, nobody can erase it from the memory of the people. And so people come in today trying to deceive you. It was written by Lord Lugard. It is written by Mary Slessor. It is, they are all liars. Because the hunter will always write a history in his favor. Nobody writes a history to his own detriment. And if you are guided by this notion, you cannot be deceived by anybody. 
and now let us come back to a time where we are. A group of certain individuals now finance a very deadly weapon against the indigenous population of Nigeria. Targeted most especially the South-South, very few ones, ready to destroy everything that we are. They will stop at nothing until they control our land and our water. But I can assure you, their mission is dead on arrival. But you will not understand. And so there have been controversial discussion all around the social media, in and out of the political arena. They've created pavilion for themselves to discuss our matter and wield their decision in their favor, even against our people. And most of our people have not said anything. And you see, for my Abo people, I know who you are. And our people simply say, Mbombo Milia Amamun Yabo. If it has not begun, it has not begun. Because in the end, in Hame Hame. And that is why they don't understand. And they think that your keeping quiet looks as if you don't know what is obtainable. But be yourself. That is the originality we'll talk about. There is a man called Ezechime. But honestly, if Ezechime was to be an Igbo name, let us assume, because the pronunciation Ezechime make it look like Igbo name. But let's assume it's an Igbo man. They trace his origin back to the Benin Empire and consider him to be one of the Benin people or one of the Igbo people. So many confused stories. And so maybe say Chime was an Igbo man born in Benin before the eras of even the Ogisu dynasty. Let us assume that he was the founder of the Benin Empire and then he became an Igbo man. I agree with all these sponsored criminals who believe Ezechime is an Igbo name and Ezechime is an Igbo man. And by the virtue of the descendant of Ezechime, all of you are Nyoma, for instance, are now Igbo people. It's okay. But something is out of order. And that is simply, if Ezechime was an Igbo man, how come Ezechime build or establish a royal dynasty across Anyoma land and beyond? Forging his own signatory, forging his own identity, very different from the Igbo people you know in Nigeria today. Now let's look at it this way. If you look at the Obi of nature. And most of you don't know that the Onecha people are not Igbo people of Nandekano. You see Nandekano type of Igbo, they are different from Onecha people. You see a Bonye kind of Igbo, they are different from Nandekano kind of Igbo. You see Enugu Igbo, they are different people entirely. But it is a conspiracy. They were able to formulate all of them were conquered by the simple idea that they will conquer others. And that is what you see playing out today. Now let me not digress any further. If you go to the palace of the Ubi of Onecha, who is not respected by any Igbo man, and I know after all this talking, they will begin to respect him. They will begin to reference him. If you look at the Benin people, you cannot toy with the Obar of Benin. Even the most ignorant Bini person will not take it lightly with you. And this is because If you go to the Onyo of Ife, even the least monarch in the Oduduwa kingdom, you dare not disrespect them because you will surely feel the reception. They are reverend. If you go to the communities in Nigeria where they still practice the monarchy system of administration, you dare not talk down on their monarch. But if you go to Onecha, I need you to watch the supposed Igbo stakeholders. You will see their body language tells you they don't even know that the Ubi of Onecha exists. 
Let me tell you how bad it can be. Go to Oka, the government house of Anambra. You will never see any on a chairman there. Forget about Professor Ben Wabuizi. He's not an Igbo man like them. He was conquered. Professor Ben Wabuizi is Ogbaru man, the ancient Anyoma people. But he was conquered. We know the story of what Ujuku did to him as a constitutional lawyer. We know during the Biafra War, he could not express himself then, neither could he express himself now, even to he, until his demise. He's not an Igbo man, for your information, but assimilated Igbo man. They were placed under house arrest, 10 kilometer radius by Ujuku, never to move anything more than that. If they have tried it, some of them would have been dead. They will call them saboteur. Now, go to the government house in Oka. If you cannot see on a chairman at the helm of affair, is it a gala man from Anambra State that you will see in Oka government house? And so when I'm talking to Ubi, talking about Ubi of Onecha now, I just want you to look at the evidence on ground by yourself. The Ubi of Onecha, if not for his reputation, which he has built for himself in the global community, if not for the fact that the Ubi of Onecha is recognized even by the Queen of England, today, it is the Igbo people that will challenge the federal government to dismantle that throne. And so you go to the palace of the Ubi of Onecha. You will see the symbol of royalty and authority of the Benin Empire. The Ada and the Abam, those two Segna. You will see it as the symbol of the throne of the Ubi of Onecha. And I'm sure Ubi of Onecha must have come from Benin. And then you leave Onecha into Asaba. Go to the palace of the Asaba of Asaba. And of course, there are over 100 monarchs between the palace of Ubi of Onecha before you get to the Asaba of Asaba. You see the symbol of authority and royalty. It is the same, the Abam and the Adam. And then you leave Asaba and you go to the ancient city of Agbo, Eka land, in the palace of the Deni, the Ubi of Agbo. And of course, between the Asaba of Asaba, you have series of monarchs. From the Okpanam, to the Buku, to the Bobnuzo, and to the rest of them, to the Obio. All of them are known till you enter Benin. From the palace of the Oba of Benin to the end of Okada land which is between the boundary of Benin and Ondo State. All the monarchs there, from Ebuake, all the monarchs there. The symbol of royalty, the symbol of authority is the same. And you go to some communities in Anyoma, my place, they will publicly display it and say, this is Okpanam, the descendant of Ezechime. This is Ibuzo the descendant of Ezechime. This is this, the descendant. All, some of them trace their origin to the man known as Ezechime. But at the end, the simple authority that established the presence of Ezechime is that of the Benin symbol of authority and royalty. Does it mean Igbo people have been this very weak all this while and now Benin have to conquer us? Or did they actually sell us to Benin people? Because there is something known as seal. There is something known as signature. There is something known as endorsement. Every monarch from the boundary of Ondo State down to Onecha, every monarch there have the seal from the Oba of Benin, have the endorsement from the Oba of Benin, have the authority from the Oba of Benin. And if they were Igbo, why did it take so long before the Igbo now start coming to claim us? It is easy to tell you, uh, our community answer Igbo name. Our community answer, we answer Igbo name. But this may be true. 
as well as lie. That is the first point I need you to find out. As Igbo unity beggar, why is it that our symbol of royalty and authority looked at that of Benin? I want those social media unity beggars to begin to tell us because we are learning. My sister, I do blood yesterday, was calling me that there is one Igbo man claiming to be Abo man on their platform. It's quite unfortunate I did not meet the Igbo the man. I would have delivered him or her. And now let's assume from their target and accession to claim us and they say that we are Igbo. Because our communities answer Igbo. And then we answer Igbo name. Let us go by that. First of all, let's assume it's true. Today, my name is George, but I'm not from the Europe. Your name is Peter, and you are not a Jew. You are not from Europe. Even Peter is not a Jewish name. Your name is Michael, Linda, Mary Slesso, and so on and so forth. You are not answering this name because you come from that place. The name we answer is influenced by religion, politics, and evidence of conqueror. We answer English name today because of religion, most especially. Watch our Sam people very closely. The moment they pass Guangualada, they change their name to Christian name because they believe they are entering Christian territory. Almost all I will say in my area, all of them are Paul, Peter, Michael, John Boo, Gabriel. We understand they have to answer this name in order to be safe among us. Because ordinarily, if they were in their region, they will answer Yusuf, Dawuda, Musa, and the rest of it. And maybe they have spent a hundred years in our land answering Peter and Paul. And then we say, because they are answering Peter and Paul, they are our people. But this is a game of indulgence, looking for means to survive. And so if we are answering Igbo name, and we say we are not Igbo, the truth could be that as a result of religion, we change our name. Those of you who are Catholics, we know, despite the name your parents gave to you, you are under convention to have a Roman name. They call it baptismal name. And so on the day of your baptism, you will now answer one Roman name. But does that make you a Roman? Does that make you a Roman? So if I bear Igbo name, for instance, does it make me an Igbo man? This is not about superior argument. This is about dictating the intellectual dishonest individual who will do anything for financial gain. And so many of us today are answering Igbo name, as they said. But we say we are not Igbo. And their father bear testament to the fact that we are not Igbo. And now, if you are a normal person, I appeal to you, go and find out the name of three of your father before your immediate father. Ask your father what is the name of his father. You will see that after your grandfather, the rest people, you will not know the meaning of their name. I was in the village recently and I got there and then somebody wanted to give me an accolade in my traditional way. An Idali person. And then he bowed down and say, Namusiba, Namusiba. And if you listen to what I say as an Abo person, what is Osiba in Igbo language? But you will discover Nam, Igbo may understand what it means, Nam, but they don't use it that way. But they don't know in their entire generation what is Osiba. And you see different dialects being brought together to make a sense. Don't be confused. I need you to watch the European nations. 
or the English language, for instance. There are things they don't have name for because it doesn't exist in their land. So they borrow name from where it starts from. That doesn't make them the same thing. French speak, Fr France speak French. And if you are a French student, you will notice that some of the things, languages or dialects in, Fran in France or French is actually adopted from English. And when you watch English and Latin closely, you will see a cross-section of diversion in their languages. I was listening to some people making a broadcast one day to tell us that we are, we are not Abo people. And then the Igbo unity beggar asked an Abo person and say, what do Abo people call tomato? And that guy was mesmerized. And then I got to him and I asked my uncle, I said, what do we call tomato? He laughed. He said, we don't have him for tomato. It's just tomato is tomato because they are not indigenous to our land. Somebody brought it and they call it tomato and then so on and so forth. And I said, then how were we making stew before then? He said, our own tomato is different. And he called it Ufi Mie Mie. Ufi Mie Mie Njuhi. And they gave me the seed. I've planted it. And I want to believe that between now and February, God willingly, it will bear fruit. And I will show you our indigenous tomatoes. And so you cannot possibly have a name for what does not exist in your land. But for what exists in our land, we certainly have a name for them. And if by virtue of trade and commerce, you import such goods into our house, into our land, and we don't have a name for it, it is favorable that we adopt the name you call it. That is why today, most automobile we have today, it's not there in the indigenous name. They come with the name of the owner. And that doesn't mean that when I drive a Benz, that I come from the Benz family. Why can't you people allow us to be? So a lot of things can influence the name we bear. And this is the critical way our name change. You can imagine today in Nigeria, we have a record, a register of ethnic group known as Ikwere people. But can Nigerian leaders come out and tell us that indeed there are people called Ikwere people? Nobody is called Ikwere people. The name the Igbo people used to be mocking Ikwere people become the name of Ikwere people at the end of the day. And that is why most of you cannot take serious this unity they are beginning. Because before the era, before the Igbo coup supposedly, all the Iheroha children were reporting to Inugu. So as Ikwere man today, you want to sell your land, you will go to Inugu to take permission from one Igbo man from Israel before you are allowed to sell your land. And it must be on their term. And by the time they have given you the terms and conditions to sell your own fatherland, they will not ask you, Ikwere. You say Ikwere. And by the time you come in your convoy to Enugu to ask approval from Ojuku and his cohort that you want to sell your fatherland, they will give you the terms and conditions. They give your father the terms and conditions. And at the end of the day, they will ask your father equally. Your father says equally, does he have a choice? And after then, when they see another in her own man, they say, I want the indiquiri kuria, indiquiri kuria abiago. They were saying it jokingly, but they were mocking your fathers. And today, you have accepted it officially that you are a great people. They tried to change it that you people migrated from Unquiri. That is why you are Ikwere people. Go and ask Nandekano. It could be very bad to the extent that Nandekano said that Biafra means Biafara. That Biafra was actually Igbo name, Igbo language, meaning Biafara. He forgot that it was Opigo who suggested that name. 
And when some of us started calling him to order, that is when he lowered that tempo. If not, by now, many of all these Igbo children who don't want to have sense would have been telling him, Imana, Biafra, Bafu Igbo, or Biafara, because now the canoe is from Afari Beku. So when we drag it, drag it, drag it, it will be that Afari Beku is the headquarters of Biafra. Get sense. Let's assume it's your name. Now, carry your name and leave us alone. Because maybe very soon, we begin to apply for the editing and changing of name. But that language is not your language. You are Chuku Emeka. I am Chuku Emeke. They may sound the same thing. Doesn't mean it's the same thing. You have Ola in Yoruba language. You have Ola in Igbo language. You have Ola in Bayasa language, but they are entirely different thing. And so when I come here, I say, my name is Ola. And somebody say, oh, he's a Yoruba because his name is Ola. But all I mean ring in my place. And all I mean Yoruba, um, tomorrow in, in Yoruba. And so how could you be so fast to claim me because of the familiarity between the vowel sound we make? My brother, we are not answering Igbo name. And our community don't be a Igbo name. This is our dialect. Let's go to another one. If you see a car language, for instance, we can use one word for 100 places. We can use one word to address even 50 different things. But it's one word. Let me tell you how it goes. For instance, you have Ogun. O-G-U-N. Ogun. This Ogun can be used the same Ogun, you say it in, you are using it to refer to 10 different things. Ogun. 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 All of them are the same, but they mean different things. They mean different things. So how could you say that your own is my own, or my own is your own? I thought they say Onye Lenzire, Onye Lenzire. And, and then, why do you want my own Nzire to become your own? And so if you are listening to me, a car people does not answer Igbo name. We answer a car name. And none of our community is answering Igbo name. It is our dialect. Because when you fail to fight back, tomorrow they will give you a name. I listen to... Ned Nwoko trying to prove to them why we must be giving to the Igbo. And I see cold-hearted, wicked individuals who for financial gain will sell the next generation of our people. It was convenience to say that we are the ones that suffer the brutality of the Nigerian civil war. And which is the truth? Do you see Igbo people making effort to extend the right hand of fellowship to us? Have you seen them outside the Saba massacre? Talked about the degrading human entreatment we went through in the name of Nigerian Biafra war. Why would they do that when they have betrayed us? Why did Ojuku blow the bridge against the command of Achuze? Why did Chuku Mazogo have to take his life despite the fact that the Igbo coup benefited Igbo people? Thomas Yoronsi. Why was it that we were chased out of Ohanese and Igbo? Were they not thinking about marginalization? Were they not thinking about what they are thinking today that they are desperate to inherit us? But this is because some of the conspiracy they have against us is maturing. Some of the plan they have is maturing. The same plan Israel used to come back to Palestinian is the same plan they are using for us. They've bought enough land in our land They've been able to control drug movement in our land. They've been able to manage our economic space. The only thing they are fighting now to be able to control, which they have not been able, is our consent. And that is why, because of our monarch, they cannot penetrate. And when you give them your consent, you are gone. Why ask yourself, why all this desperation? Is a chime who is an Igbo man. Igbo that don't have king. Everybody is a king. Igbo 
everybody is a king. All of a sudden, the royal father is a chime, is an Igbo man. And your ma people, you cannot give them your consent to destroy the next generation of your people. And your ma people, you have to open your eye because he clearly know what is there already. Obako equally will not allow them to have their way. But it's quite unfortunate that those most of those people, like Senator Ned Moku, who are supposed to be protecting our interest, that we may become relevant in the Nigerian state and be recognized as ethnic group, is still dragging us back to Babylon. My brother, Ezechime is not an Igbo man, and that name is not an Igbo name. Ezechime come from the Benin Empire, and that is how it is. Go and ask your father question, and stop letting them to deceive you on the social media. And if your father tells you he's an Igbo man, then know that you are a missed blood. You are not from that place. Pet your father, he will tell you the truth. We grew up in the village, and we were always referred as Ngonyabo, Ngonyibu. If we were Ngonya, Ngonyibu, they would not have called us Ngonyabo, Ngonyurubu, Ngonyabini, Ngonyishan, Ngonyakwaibon. Akwaibon is not saying we are Akwaibon, right? Bini are not saying we are Bini people. In fact, one of the above of Bini made it clear during the era where monarchs were actually in charge of our affairs. During the time where they started colonizing us into who we are not. Some of you think Iduma people are not tenant. TV are not tenant. Guari Nupe are not tenant. They are also, They are not. They were colonized through indirect rule. The same way they want to colonize you. No. When it got to the time of the Benin people to colonize us, Benin did not. The above Benin actually gave a parable, an adage that is used in Benin Kingdom to tomorrow. It simply goes this way. Let a car speak a car. Let a shan speak a shan. Let Abo speak Abo. Let everybody speak their language. You cannot destroy anyone. And most of you don't know. Do you know why? Every language you destroy, you lose magic wells. You lose spells that has the capacity to turn your life around. Don't you know there are some prayers you pray in English to will not have result? Don't you know there are some pre problems you encounter in life? You don't need to pray in English. You pray in your dialect. But when your language is gone, how will you know? And that is why the Abo people will proudly tell you, your language is your power. And then there are a group of Nigerians, where you meet them, you can't speak their language, then they, they ridicule you, frustrate you. Let us be careful. The history we are listening to on the social media, they are corrupt version of who we are. Igbo people are Igbo people. Because that is who they say they are. Not because all of them are Igbo people. Because Abreba people are not Igbo people. Ibere people are not Igbo people. Hear me very clearly. Oji Zokalo is not Igbo man. Oji Zokalo village. Tio Oji village. They are not Igbo people. They were incorporated. Go and ask Bende people. Go and ask Ben the people. So Igbo were not Igbo until they were able to form this league of conquer, dominate, misplace, and then finish you. That is what they want to do to us. Go and look at Enugu Ezeke people very well. Go and look at all the tribes that make Enugu, sample them one after the other in their true nature. And tell me that Ibu is Ibu. You will understand that Amandoba is Amandoba. Nkure is Nkure. Olo is Olo. Nempe is Nempe. 
Now, they've been able to cajole all these ethnic groups into one fraudulent movement. They call it Igbo. Now they are expansionists. They have to absorb us. Abo is not Igbo. Ikuri is not Igbo. Bini is not Igbo. You that say you are Igbo, you are Igbo. Abo is Abo. Eka is Eka. Because under Eka, we have Umunede. We are not telling you Munede is Eka. It's Umunede person that will tell you that Ndu Munede won the Abo. It is a Baki person. Somebody from a Baki wrote me from Orion or local government in Edo State. My town people, my Abo people in Edo State. He wrote to me from America. I said, thank you for saying this. That what I've been hearing on social media, he, 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 he's, he's troubled. But he didn't know there are people like me who are defending these lies. Because the Igbo people have started changing their name, that their name is Igbo Akere. Igbo Akere. I found where one day Bakke, El Igbo Akere. Now, when you give it time, they will say, hey, they are answering Igbo name. When they now finally accept it that they are Igbo Akere, it's not Igbo Akere. It is a Bakke. A water. The same way they wake up, they say, You see, I'm Ijebu Igbo. Ijebu Igbo. So they are Igbo people. And if Ijebu now accept it, they now say, I think I tell you, Ijebu used to be Igbo land. They have collected it. All of the way they do this thing, make on the respect on ourselves. The more now they push this agenda, the more we go to follow on our up. Allow us to be. But we know your greed. Which is insatiable, your greed, and it will consume you. You know, people don't talk to you people before now. Because anybody that talk to you people, you people will kill the person. But where you punish yourself is when you begin to kill your people. Tell me one Igbo person who has spoken up, and Igbo people did not kill the person. And so nobody can talk. Once they talk, you kill them. But yet you are the one crying. They are killing us. Uh, they are suffering us. Uh, Nigeria hate us. Uh, but you are the embodiment of everything you blame other people for. If you say we are Igbo people, what is there on the table for us? What do you have for us on the table? All the whole lawyer well in Anyoma, how many of them can we assess from our land? We have to go to Onecha to assess all of them. And Igbo people are eating the money, telling us they are oil magnet. And those missed blood among us will come and tell you, hey, 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 we are Igbo, we are, we are Igbo. He won't Igbo. Go and be smoking goof, Igbo. Is a chime. It's not an Igbo man. And certainly the name is a chime. It's not Igbo. Name. And the name we bear is not their name. It is our name. It is our dialect. Let them respect it. Let them live and allow us to live. This is where I will leave this broadcast for now. And so that you share it to our people. Let them know the truth. Ezi Chime is not an Igbo man. They have to deal with it. It's an Anyoma man. Just ask them, why is it that you go to the palace of Ezi Chime and his descendant and all the kingdom within this Aziz I have mentioned for you, down to the palace of the reverend, the Ubi of Furniture. All of them have the symbol of royalty and authority from the Benin Empire. Why is it that way? Let me go to the platform there and see if there is any misguided fella there who have insult. Because that is what they do. Let's see if they are there. I see Igwe Abuchi. I greet you, Igwe Abuchi. Good morning from here. Innocent Samuel, I greet you. I greet you. He said, George, Ikulima Onyoshi, Innocent. He said, George, Ikulima Onyoshi. You see his name. His name is Innocent Samuel. I am Ikulima. I am Onyoshi. And now, this is one attitude you should learn from them. Ignore what they say and focus on the message you want to deliver. When they talk down on you, it is the same method. They demonize your culture and tradition. Go back to the work of Chini Wachibe. He said the white man is very clever. He said our custom and tradition are evil. He gave them their own religion. And now our brothers are stunned against us. Most of you believe I'm a beggar. Most of you believe I'm a hungry man. Most of you believe I'm just a loser. Most of you believe so many things which I am not. And what if I am? They want to demonize me. That is just the game. The innocent Ikbirima just say, hey, George Onyibe Ikbirima, Onyoshi. 
but who is a criminal? What I'm saying now and what they are doing, who is actually the criminal? But that is Igbo for you. These are people who want to unite with me. You cannot lie against anybody. Don't bear false weakness, but that is what they do. Oh, Fulani has men are killing us. Oh, Fulani has men are killing us. Is it not obvious to you now that it is Igbo killing Igbo people? All the boundary, all the community sharing boundary with Igbo people, Fulani has men are killing them. And you are not telling me it's not Igbo people. Now that we have opened our eye for you now, why are we not seeing Fulani has men again? But you don't exist. Innocent Samuel, who Igbo man addressing me on behalf of Igbo. Very unfortunate. I see Osazie. He says, so, uh, so what? So, your job every day now is to borrow data and come and hide in your uncompleted building to talk about Igbos from now to when. And now, look at the next Igbo man there. Chizara, I now borrow data. I didn't steal data. He said, you now borrow data because I am poor. But you see the beauty of it. God said to Moses when they were in the wilderness, he said, see, as far as there is night and day, as far as the world, the earth endure it, there will always be rich and the poor among you. He said, be very careful the way you treat the poor because if they cry to me, I will turn against you. But you are ignorant. The humiliation you Igbo Biafraud people who say you come from Israel has given to the next, the generation of Nigerians. This clock is turning around. And what I cry every day is that you people will not survive it. I'm not threatening you. I am prophetically declaring to you how it's going to be. I think on the fan war, Chizaram, when they found war, you want to war. Oh, Kwade me hije lo, Kwade me hije lo. Nisha wa kwole yo ni mwa kwole yo, ebi jeko hije lo. Nisha wa kwole yo ni mwa kwole yo, ebi jeko hije lo. You see this war, you people are funny. You see all this conspiracy. And you jeko the Jews of Babylon weka. No, just look at you. I now borrow data. Thank God, I'm not stealing data. You see, one of their plan, when they said they expelled me from IPOB, was they thought I would not be able to come online. They thought I would not be able to buy data. Because these people almost destroy me. They destroyed me economically. They destroyed me socially. They destroyed me religiously. But you see, morally, I did not allow them to compromise my mind. It's, it's shocking to them. And how about people never come out to? And he's telling me on completed reading. And I'm sure your father is serving jail term somewhere in, in Cuba, somewhere in Malaysia, having gotten involved in drug. Chia Zaram, don't you know that 99.9% .9 of Nigerians who are facing death sentence across the globe are drug barons, drug criminal. Your elites, if I begin to call, can you tell me what key Peter will be father? Your Peter will be of obedient movement of unity beggar. Can you tell me what killed his father? Who is his father? And I don't get shame. I live in an uncompleted building. It's not better than to build a mansion that my family member will fight over, kill themselves, and then go back, I will die in jail. Then people like you will pregnant the wife of your brothers in jail because you allow money to use your kind. As far as there is Igbo man on social media, United Ndibu, who are not Ndibu, I will be here to be reciprocating. As far as you people are shouting, Abo is Biafra, Abo is Biafra, I will not leave you people alone. Face your south, southeast, face your southeast. Face your southeast. You have political representative. Face it and leave us alone. And have you seen a job person say, we are Igbo, Igbo people are our own, aside the people you are using? Look at Efe now. All of you in diaspora, you are using her 
as uh, for press up, eh? Because you gave her a salon document. And if you are from Ifi, Urubu people, it is time you go and bring your daughter back at least. Help her. Those of you who know Ifi, call Ifi. She's the only lunatic there now. Call her. Take her to the authorities. Let them remove that evil signature from her document. But she has no choice. She's trapped already. Now they know the truth already. So, my brother, you are a disgrace. The whole Nigeria know your kind. All those things you people are doing, thinking you can talk people down, we already know it. I see Izuwa. Thank you, Izuwa. I see Mazwe Buka. He said, this man, go and look for work. Which work will I look for that is more than this? By now, if Igbo people were the one feeding me and taking care of me, don't you see I would have been dead? Yeah, Ibuka. Don't you see I would have been gone? So I have a job already. My job is to expose your criminal kind. I pity for the Igbo people who are not part of this shenanigan, but they keep quiet. So it go rob all of them. Is that not what Obi Obi Enu told you now? They say this thing you are doing. My concern is that it will this pamoyel, this mud. If it rob you, it will rob all of us. Is that not what is robbing you? Go and look for work. Is this not my work? I'm a blogger now. I'm blogging you, criminal-minded individual. You people thought you will win in this game. After I have begged you, after I've warned you, you still prove that and we refine me. Nothing will happen. Something will happen, and you will confirm it. I'm just one man. Have you seen about people joining me? You think about people are not listening to me? But look at your kind. No Yoruba here. No Awosa here. No other tribe here has challenged what I'm saying. Only Igbo people. Onyo Ushi. Uyi, I greet you from here. Acho, I greet you. Good morning, Acho. It's been a while. And so where are they? Those are the minor recruits looking for Hutu. Even Ikwiri go to the palace of every Apana to Apana. All of them. You will see the symbol of royalty from the Benin kingdom. Benin people, if they come out today and want to claim us, I'm telling you, if we resist them, we will fight with our father. If we resist them, we will have to fight our fathers. But Benin is not doing that. Okay, maybe Benin don't have money. They, they did not go to school. They don't like to conquer people. Only Igbo people who say they come from Israel, they don't have land, so they want to take our land by force. So their mind is just buy some land. You sponsor treachery against our people because we are not started saying it. Just wait. Between now and December, a lot of things will change. Continue what you are doing. The highest thing you people can do is we got to kill that guy. We have to kill that guy. That is what you people do. And I tell you, the wave, the wave, the wave thereafter, let me leave it like that. You will wish you never did it. Go and ask Nanda Kano. When he was planning this hopelessness, he thought I'm Buhari. He was thinking I'm Buhari. But I'm not Buhari. It's not that I'm greater than Buhari. It's not that I'm more connected than Buhari. But you see, there is a power that shapes my way. And to him I have returned to. And where he say I should go, I go. And when he lead, I follow. Now you get the point. The rest of the be fraud people can come and drop their insult later on. This is where I bring the brokers to an end. Don't forget, when they tell you your community is Igbo, your language is Igbo, kindly ask them, what is the symbol of royalty and authority, the seal of origin? What are they doing? in the palace of your king. Let them be doing that as a nation, at least for the rest of the year. We will continue from that. Thank you and have a nice day.